the purpose of this video is to show you how Kaizen foam works. So first of all, we have a series of eight inch layers of individual foam that has been laminated up. When you're removing the Kaizen foam cores after you've traced around it, what you're doing is you're actually separating the layers in the soft core. So let me explain how that works and let me show you how that works. So here we have a piece of Kaizen foam. I've taken a large utility knife and laid it on there and then with a long nose marker traced around it. After I've traced around it, I've now taken our small Kaizen knife with a much smaller and thinner blade and I've used that to cut around the entire edge. And I really like this knife because it allows me to get into all the corners and do the nice detail work. It's very simple and easy to use. I also, I don't worry at all about how deep I cut. I cut significantly deeper into the foam than the part that I'm actually laying in there. And you'll see why I do that in just a minute. In addition, you also want to make sure you cut inside the line or on the line, but not outside the line to ensure a tight fit. After I've completed cutting around, all I do now is stick my finger in and begin to remove the core. Now the important thing to note is your finger is actually acting like a little plow and it's separating the layer as I pull it in there. So I stick my finger in about the depth that I feel I need to pull out the material and I begin to get underneath it one layer. See how I'm doing that? And then I just keep bringing my finger along there and working along a seam, if you will. So to further explain the plowing concept that I was telling you about, I did a quick cross section of a knife and I've already made all the cuts here. So this is what's actually happening. When we turn it on its side, you see that I've made the cut much deeper than the knife needs to be. So what you're doing is you're putting your finger down in there and you establish, let's say, that's the depth you want. Now you begin the separation at that layer, right? And your finger is actually maintaining the separation at that layer. The problem that most people have is they think you just simply take this and you start ripping it out and as you can see, that doesn't work. You start ripping across multiple layers. The key is the plowing effect to get a consistent bottom. So it's very, very simple to remove the material. Then you pull that all the way out and you can see I removed it all. And let's say it's not perfectly flat. When I go ahead and put my knife in there, you can see it looks beautiful. But let's say I want the bottom of that to be perfectly flat. I don't want any undulation at all. Well, that's just so simple to do, you can't believe it. Now I like to use the wider blade for filleting. It's no different than filleting a fish, if you will. And I'm just gonna take this on here and I'm just gonna separate the top layer off. Just like that. Now that part fits in there perfectly. And now I can just lay that part in there and now my bottom looks perfect. Then I can take my knife, stick it in there, and I'm done. 